In this video we are traveling to Nasna, where we'll be staying on an island. I am so excited. We just arrived at our Airbnb in Nasna and the host already invited us on a boat trip. So we are off. Goodbye. <laughs> you and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home We got super lucky again with scoring an amazing Airbnb. We hardly arrived here when our host said to us, oh, do you want to join us on our boat this afternoon? We're leaving in half an hour. And we're like, really? <laughs> and we just said, yes, we're going to take every single opportunity we get. And we offloaded the car and jumped onto the boat with them. Our hosts are really, really nice. Uh, their house is right on one of the waterways. This island is so cool. You have to check in at the front. The host actually had to come fetch us and the security is quite tight. So we're just going to show you what our Airbnb looks like. It's really cute. And from our bedroom, we can actually see the waterway. So yes. check this out. <laughs> This island is pretty confusing. <laughs> we dropped a pin on where our house is and yeah. we've gone for a walk because walking always orientates us a bit better. Look there. Check it out. This is freaking awesome. So we've just found our own beach on the island with volleyball. Guys, it's still out. What's the time? It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> so in Durban, it would be dark by now. And Cape Town is going to be even lighter. Yeah, we just headed further west. We are sitting at Flo & Co, one of a couple of restaurants. It's an amazing view of the... The waterfront. <laughs> the lagoon. The, the waterfront. Yeah. Right, well, everywhere is a waterfront in this place. You can access the houses with boats or car. Yeah. On the one side you've got your parking garage, on the other side you've got your boat parking in the yeah, river. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we ordered a bottle of wine at this restaurant because Craig actually got some good news today. Yeah. He applied for his professional engineering registration a few weeks ago and finally he got the email today while we were driving. So Yeah. Well, technically a professional engineer. You're a professional engineer now, babes. Just to that. Congratulations. <laughs> we had an amazing night out. We had a bottle of wine and we didn't have to drive, we just walked home. See you in the morning. 
Good morning. This is our second day in Nasna and we're actually off to a later start than planned. Uh, I have to say our Airbnb bed was very comfortable. <laughs> now we are off to the Nasna Heads. It's about 8 o'clock and the sun is up and it's already really hot. So we're in for a scorcher today. But we're excited. The skies are blue. Let's go. We have driven up to the Nasna Heads. The top is about a Probably about a five to ten minute drive from where we're staying so we're gonna go to the viewpoint now it's quite quiet today and it's a public holiday we are the only car in the parking lot so... <laughs> and the weather is perfect the weather couldn't have been more perfect to come and see this view here at the Nasna Heads this is like paradise. If you come to South Africa, you have to come to Nasa. Can the views even get any better? Yes, it can. We actually saw that there are a ton of boat tours and they take you out through the heads and out to sea and then you can explore like all the caves and stuff like that. And these dinner cruises, lunch cruises and yeah, lots of activities. This is so amazing. There's just something about a rugged rocky coastline. Yeah. It's, oh. It's, wow. it's so beautiful and I think a lot of people don't realize that South Africa has these spots. Mm. Um, it is unbelievable. We're back where we started and we just wanted to come have one last look before we left. It's just really amazing up here, these walkways that takes you to maybe six or seven different viewpoints and they literally get better as you go. Only two other cars in the parking lot and it's half past nine. And guys, it's a public holiday today. <laughs> so we really scored big time with this viewpoint. We're gonna hit the next one now, let's go. So now we've come down to the bottom of the Nasna Heads. There's a nice coffee shop here behind me. You can see the top where we were earlier, checking out the views. Now we're at the bottom and it's still beautiful. Very cool to just explore around the Nasna Heads. Here at the bottom, there's also plenty of walkways and I think we are going to the little cafe to have some coffee and maybe a bite to eat. Well, thank you. Yes. A nice cappuccino now. I'm excited, I want coffee. The views are amazing from here. It's so white, it feels like we're in Greece. Oh, yummy! We just had some coffee at East Ed Cafe and wow, everyone is so friendly over there. Yeah, it was really cool. We decided to come to the waterfront now and check it out, just walk yeah. around. It's quite. Yesterday, our Airbnb host brought us into the waterfront with his boat, which was pretty cool. So we were just sailing around here, making way for canoeists. And now we're just walking around the waterfront, gonna find something to eat. I love seeing these signs wherever we go. We actually wanted to go to Peru these holidays, but obviously we can't travel internationally at the moment and I spotted Valparaiso. There isn't a sign for Lima, but I mean, Chile is pretty close to Peru. So we're only like 8,800 kilometers away from where we wanted to be, but anyway. We decided to get Russian roll, just a nice little takeout from the waterfront before we have a nice big dinner tonight. So I'm hungry, let's eat. That was good. Now we're gonna take a drive to the other side of the heads. A quick road trip tip is pack a little cooler box with a few drinks in. So when you're driving around, you have cold Coke or whatever you like. As well as when you go out for lunch, sometimes the drinks are more expensive than the food. So 
it is nice having a cheap drink in your car because then you can enjoy it for cheap so good tastes exactly like the 50 rand one on the waterfront <laughs> So we're trying to find the other side of the Nasna Heads but oh, we're just driving into dead ends everywhere. We're on a dirt road now but the views are still really amazing and totally worth it driving up here. So we've literally explored the whole of Nasna, the heads, we've been both sides of the estuary, amazing views and now we're going to head back to our little island. We are about to go kayaking, we're pretty excited, we've got our bag packed, taking a walk to the restaurant area, that's where you hire the kayaks and then we're going to go for a nice hour kayak. So we're going to take the GoPro and Craig just forgot it on the table. <laughs> I did not, I was coming back. And the sound doesn't work so nicely on there. So enjoy our scenic shots. Oh, it's kayaking. We had an amazing kayak, we got a bit lost, but that was fun. Now we went home, we showered, we had a drink on the deck, and now we're gonna go get some dinner at the restaurants here on the island. We are going to have tapas for dinner, there's live music you can hear, I'm pretty excited. There won't be much talking from now on, it's Bobby. So we bought an oysters. Tappers. It's really loud in here, so we're just going to show you some video. Yeah. So we had amazing tappers, good drinks, and we're going to walk home now. It's over three bridges, and then we get to our spot. See you guys in the morning. It is our last day in Nasna. Our trip has sadly come to an end. Yeah. We've had an amazing stay. The nice thing about this specific Airbnb is it's not just a place to stay, but you get access to this whole island. It's like a, an estate, so you can safely walk around. So I think that's mm. my number one thing is the safety here. And we were sleeping with our doors open, which doesn't happen in a lot of places in South Africa. We only booked our accommodation for tonight, yesterday. <laughs> So make sure to watch our next video if you want to see where we go next. Thank you for watching. If you want to join in our South African road trip, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Walking always orients. Orients? Orients. Absolutely breathtaking. <clears throat> it's absolutely breathtaking. And of course, until gets a pink cup. Oh. Oh, <laughs>
Oh, it's almost like she bandits. I have to touch things, get your spray out. <laughs> Where are we going next? Wait till you find out.